Um, my name's Steve Minard. I live in Somerset now. You can tell that I'm not from round these parts. Um, I grew up in Essex. I moved down here about 30 years ago. I lived in Swindon for 10 years. Um, I discovered Lower Shore Farm about 25 years ago and been coming back fairly regularly ever since. Matt asked me to come and tell some apple stories. I said to him, there aren't many apple stories. He said, well, you'll just have to find some. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, as long as there's an audience, I'll keep telling stories, but they might not all be about apples. So let's start with one that might be about apples. How do all good stories start? Once upon a time. Once upon a time there was a boy. And he was the youngest boy in a family of boys. There were seven boys. And he was the seventh boy. Now all the other boys were grown up. And they would go out every day into the fields and they would work with their father. And every day the youngest boy, we'll call him Jack, just because there's lots of Jacks in stories. The youngest boy would stay at home and he would bother his mother. Now, his mother was working hard because she had all the boys and her husband's clothes to wash and she had all the food to prepare and a great many other things besides. But Jack would bother his mother. He would tug at her skirts and he would say, Mother, play with me. And she would say, Jack, I'm really sorry, but I'm really, really busy. I've got the apples to press and all sorts of things and I've got lots of talking to do and all sorts of things. And Jack would go off and play in the yard and he would play with sticks and he would play with stones but then he would come bothering his mother again and he would say, Mother, tell me a story. And the mother would say, But I've got the washing to do, Jack. Now, she was a good mother and she knew that she couldn't keep putting Jack off. And so she said to him, Jack, I will tell you a story but I want you to go on an adventure for me. Well, Jack sat up alert. An adventure for Mother... That would be fantastic. What do you want me to do? He said. I want you to go off along the lane, said his mother. And I want you to look for something. What shall I look for, said Jack. I want you to look for a little red house, said his mother. A little red house, said Jack. Well, yes, I can find a little red house. Yes, said his mother. But this little red house must have no windows and no doors. A little red house with no windows and no doors, said Jack. Yes, said his mother. You must go off along the lane and you must look for it. Very well, said Jack. And his mother said one more thing. The little red house with no windows and no doors must have a star inside. Very well, said Jack. And so he went off searching. He went off down the lane and he met a young girl. It could have been one of you but it wasn't. He met a young girl and he said to her, can you tell me where I can find a little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside? And the girl said, well, don't be silly, there's no such thing. How can you have a house with no windows and no doors? But why don't you go and ask my father? He's ploughing down in the bottom field and I bet he will know where there's a little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside. And so Jack set off along the lane and down to the bottom field, where the farmer was ploughing. And Jack went and said to him, Excuse me, sir, but can you tell me where I might find a little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside? And the farmer said, Please don't bother me now, I'm very busy ploughing the bottom field. But you know what? The granny who lives up on the hill, she's been there for many, many, many years. And I bet she would know where there's a little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside. And so Jack went along the lane and up the hill and he went to the granny's house and he knocked on the door and he made the same request of the granny. And the granny laughed and she said, well, my boy, I've lived here all my life and I've never heard of a little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside. But how I would love to live in such a place. The light inside and the warmth from the star would be magnificent. If you find it, come and tell me. Well, do you have any idea, said Jack. Well, said the old granny, why don't you go up to the top of the hill and ask the wind? Because the wind travels far and wide and surely the wind knows everything. And so Jack trudged off 
up the hill. And when he got to the top of the hill, he called out to the wind. Where can I find a little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside? And the wind came whipping around the hill and dropped right at Jack's feet a leaf. Well, Jack went to pick it up, but the wind was playful and plucked it off the ground and danced away with it along the path and down the hill and back to the lane. Jack chased after the leaf. The leaf flew into a ditch. Jack dived after it. The leaf danced over a gate. Jack jumped over. The leaf skipped across the grass. And Jack found himself in a field full of trees. He knelt down to pick up the leaf. And as he picked it up, something fell off one of the trees and landed on his head. It was an apple. Well, Jack looked at it. It was little. It was red. I wonder if that could be what Mother meant, he said to himself. It does have no windows and it has no doors. It's even got a little chimney on the top. Look. Jack took it home with him, along the lane, back to the house where he lived with his mother and his father and his six older brothers. And just then his mother had finished all her work and she sat down with him by the fire and she said, Jack, how did your adventure go? Jack said, look what I found, Mother. A little red house with no windows and no doors. Look, it's even got a chimney on top. <laughs> yes, said his mother. But does it have a star inside? I don't know, said Jack. Well, his mother took the apple off him. And she took a knife. And she cut the apple. And she said does have a star inside. Pass it round. And that's the story of the little red house with no windows and no doors and a star inside. Thank you very much.